Hi guys! So this video is for the advanced band and we're going to be going over the second line of the bamba. So you should have already watched the first video that goes over the first line of the bamba. And now we're going to go over the second line. And we're doing so many videos for this song because this song is longer. It does have three lines and it's a bit more challenging, but it's such a fun song. And it's important to a lot of you and your family. So I really do want us to learn how to play the song really well. So if you look above me, you will see the entire song, all of number 73. But now I'm going to just black out the parts that we don't need today. And now you'll see just most of the second line. We already did that first measure here with the first line because it's the end of that phrase. So we're going to start in the second measure of the second line and just do these five measures. So nothing too, too challenging. And you'll notice in the beginning, I left our treble clef, I left our key signature and our time signature, because all of those things are very important, especially since we have this different key signature. So make sure you check it. Make sure you're checking which notes you have and what you need to play. But now we're going to jump down right here to our second line. And I'm going to play all of those measures for you so you can hear what it sounds like. Three and four and rest. So again, it's slow because we have to learn it slow. If I were to play it faster, it would sound like this. Three, four, one. Once you get more comfortable with it, you can play it faster and challenge yourself to play it faster. So it sounds more upbeat, more like the song. But let's take a look. So this first measure we play it, we have a rest, two eighth notes, quarter note, two eighth notes. And be careful, this note is one of your new notes that I have talked about in the last couple videos. So go check it. So we're going to clap it. In that measure, we have three and four and rest and two and three and four and the trickiest thing is that rest and then doing eighth notes right after. So again, it's three and four and rest and two and three and four and. And on your instruments, three and four and rest and. And again, make sure you're playing the right note flutes, A flat, G with your pinky, clarinets and trumpets, it's B flat saxophones you have f natural so make sure you're playing those notes right go back and check them they're on the top of one of the pages nearby so that measure is pretty simple it's just that same note over and over our next measure quarter eighth eighth quarter eighth eighth again nothing too tricky just watch out here because that measure your eighth notes do change and i would practice just those two eighth notes first Do that a bunch of times so you feel comfortable with that switch and then try the whole measure. Three and four. And and then once you're comfortable with that, put those two measures together. Three and four and rest and and do that over and over and over because that's really, really important. Next measure looks really simple. Quarter rest, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note. Again, watch this note. It's the same note from this measure here and from a bunch in the first line. So make sure you play that correctly. And playing that measure, we have three and four and one and. Just three quarter notes, nothing bad there. And one more measure, 
you got quarter, eighth, eighth, quarter, eighth, eighth. So like the second measure. And again, those last two eighth notes change. So again, just like in this measure here, how we practice these two eighth notes, practice just those eighth notes first. Play it over and over. Until you're really comfortable with it. Then play that whole measure. Three and four. And do that a couple times. And then when you're really comfortable with these four measures, put them all together from here. Three and four and rest. And then you just have a whole rest after that. So those four measures aren't that challenging. And the song gets easier as you break it up into these sections. So this week, I want you to focus on these four measures. But don't forget about the beginning. Make sure you're still practicing the first line to there so that you can put it all together. And next week, we're going to focus on the bottom line. But this week, I just want you to focus on these four measures. And yeah, so that's how the second line of La Bamba goes. So go practice that. Also practice Pali Wali Doodle, your single eighth notes. And make sure you have done your attendance question. Make sure you're doing your practice log. And do your flip grid. You can record either of these two songs. So make sure you do all three of those things so that you can get a good grade for the week. And I hope this was helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.